When examining the modern spacesuit, it's hard to explain or put in words how astronauts appear putting on their spacesuits. A mere glance at the suit could get one lost in imagination. Why? The spacesuit is unique and appears pleasant at sight. It wouldn't be a shock to stumble upon the possibility that Elon Musk embarrassed NASA with their high-tech spacesuit, conscious of the truth that Musk hasn't for once disappointed the public with his mind-blowing inventions. Musk indeed succeeded in showing the public he is an entrepreneur with distinctive innovation. Observing SpaceX critically, you will comprehend that the company is strictly idealistic and executive when it comes to innovation. They are famous for always coming up with outstanding technologies in recent years, while keeping its competitors at the startup line. What's more amazing is that SpaceX has showcased a new design of spacesuits for astronauts. The suit is not just amazing, but also inspiring with its high-tech and other features, which will make you marvel. Has NASA ever designed a spacesuit of such quality and features? What makes this particular spacesuit extremely unparalleled? Make sure to stick around as we explore the various insights into this amazing innovation. Flight suits worn by Doug Hurley and Bob Behnken at last year's Crew Dragon is no doubt dissimilar and distinct to the orange flight suits worn by the astronauts in their last launch at Florida's Kennedy Space Center, as well as every other spacesuit worn by astronauts of other companies in America and other countries. Being knowledgeable about this gives SpaceX an upper hand and drive, leaving other competitors no choice but to succumb or rather improve and work excellently well. With little or no delay, talking of spacesuit, there are a few things to know about a spacesuit. The spacesuit, on certain occasions, is referred to as an extravehicular mobility unit and sometimes as the EMU. This apparel is worn by astronauts to keep them alive, mentally perceptive, and responsive to an abrasive or unpleasant stern of outer space, which includes the vacuum and temperature extremes. A spacesuit is oftentimes worn within the spacecraft to prevent harm, trauma, or negative incidents to astronauts in the event of cabin pressure departure. Spacesuits are mandatory for extravehicular activity, sometimes as EVA, which are activities or assigned duties performed outside of the spaceflight. The suit is worn in Earth orbit to the moon surface and back again from the moon down to Earth. The advanced spacesuit adds a difficulty to analyze or understand the set of technology and environmental systems to basic pressure apparel to keep the astronaut comfortable and minimize the effort necessary or essential to bend the limbs while struggling with the natural inclination of a soft pressure clothing restricting against the vacuum. Most likely, some of you must have heard of the three types of spacesuits, providing complete freedom from the spacecraft, a poised oxygen intake, and environmental control system functions in a typical manner. The intravehicular activity is sometimes used as the IVA. The extravehicular activity is sometimes called the EVA, as mentioned initially, and last the intra-extravehicular activity, which is sometimes used as the IEVA. Spacesuits vary in different models in line with the three different kinds of spacesuits. EVA suits like the EMU is very effective and function outside ships for extraplanetary exploration, geographic expeditions, or spacewalks, while IVA suits are softer and lighter, making them more comfortable being that the suit is designed to be worn within pressurized spaceflight. The Gemini G4C suit is an example of an IEVA suit that functions on both the internal and external of the spaceflight, offering enhanced protection from extreme and intensive conditions in space, such as micrometeoroids and dramatic switch in the degree of hotness or coldness of the environment. However, various spacesuits have been designed by different companies in different countries with amazing colors and awesome designs. But the thrilling part about these spacesuits is that most of the spacesuits were mostly different variations of the exact previous and old designs. With the intervention of SpaceX, the brand new spacesuits designed by SpaceX brought about significant change and a new era compared to the very old and ancient spacesuits currently used by astronauts. At the International Space Station, ISS, it's disheartening knowing that an international space station is lacking in such a minute area. But notwithstanding, Musk's new tech spacesuit is indeed a lifesaver to NASA and other companies. SpaceX fabricated spacesuits for astronauts to wear inside the Dragon 2 spaceflight in February 2015. In collaboration with the Hollywood costume designer Jose Fernandez, famous and notable for his work on superhero and science fiction movies, and Elon Musk, a photo of the spacesuit was released to the public in September 2017. However, in February 2018, during the Falcon Heavy first flight, they made use of a mannequin known as Sturman, putting on the SpaceX apparel though the suit had no sensor or pressure when it was revealed. The usage of a single constraint at the astronaut's thigh, which absorbs air and electronic connections, with total awareness of the suit being a vacuum compatible, to safeguard it against depressurization. 
The spacesuit's 3D printed helmet consists of speakers and microphones. It's not to put to use for extravehicular activities, since it needs a restraint connection and does not provide radiation protection. To get experience using the suit, NASA commercial crew members Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley time tested it on the Dragon 2 spaceflight in 2018, putting on the suit on a Crew Dragon Demo 2 flight, which was launched on May 30, 2022. It was worn only by astronauts with commercial crew program missions connected to SpaceX. Gloves with touchscreen sensitivity. The most important function of the suit is aimed at safeguarding crew members from depressurization due to loss of air from the capsule. It also guarantees astronauts have enough oxygen maintaining a cozy temperature. A single channeled wire in the seat connects with the suit, providing a communication medium and absorbing good air. Talking about Boeing, which competes and struggles relentlessly with SpaceX for the right in launching NASA's missions, the company designed a pressure spacesuit protecting passengers through the hypercritical and unfavorable period of launch and re-entry on the contractual agreement with NASA, transporting humans to space stations in its spaceflight. This Boeing Blue spacesuit is about 40% lighter and more flexible compared to the previous generations of suits, which were worn by American astronauts. With lots of inside layers meant to keep astronauts cool, the suit also has gloves with a sensitive touchscreen, making it easy for an astronaut to make use of tablets in space and also the soft helmet more like a hood with broad polycarbonate armor plate to improve peripheral eyesight for passengers, leaving east for space and back to earth from space. The addition of zips in the torso area aids astronauts to change sitting and standing position effortlessly. According to NASA in October 2019, two next generation spacesuits for the agency Artemis program, one of which is the Orion Crew survival system, quite similar to the SpaceX and Boeing suit. However, it is also similar to the pumpkin suit worn by the Space Shuttle astronauts, which is far lighter. In some cases, the Exploration Extravehicular Mobility Unit is sometimes often used as XEMU. It is specifically meant to be worn on the moon's surface and quite often very big than the usual pressure suit. Astronauts put on the suits inside spaceships in situations like safeguarding the user from temperature wavering at the external spaceship walls. It can be likened to the spacesuits used for geographic expeditions or spacewalking at the International Space Station. Only two types of suits are often used for spacewalking at the International Space Station ISS. The Russian Orlan type, introduced in December 1977, which is a one-piece design and the spacewalker may crawl into the backpack just by opening it in front of a refrigerator door. The second suit used at the International Space Station is NASA's extravehicular suit, which is the EMU, introduced in 1981. Made up of two halves that is a bottom half and a top half compared to the Orlan suit. In the external vacuum of space, the EMU suit dispenses roughly about 8.5 hours of life support for the user. The Apollo astronauts on the moon also made use of the EMU suit, although it was quite different from the present version. However, it was a final phase or stage of work, year after year going as far back as the first and foremost spacewalk by late cosmonaut Alexei Leonov in March 1965. Indeed, spacesuits have come a long way. However, China's development and advancement goal is to contend with America in every new space race at their disposal. SpaceX, fully aware of this, decided not to showcase and make known to the public everything about the suit to keep it on a low profile. NASA finally designed a spacesuit known as NASA's Z-Series with advanced programs. Imagine a spacesuit developed for usage in microgravity as well as the planetary EVAs, but failed due to NASA's lack of confidence to test run it for a space flight. With this being a success, Indeed, NASA would have tried in making a difference once more. Do you think in the next few years, NASA could shock the public by coming up and constructing unseen inventions, and also refurbish the company once more? Is SpaceX most likely to still be the ruling space company a few years from now? Can they keep doing better than the other competitors? Remember to drop your comments below and let us know what you think about all this. What you think about